first thing you have to know about a table saw is the blade is always spinning toward you. And it's spinning fast. Exactly. The other thing is you want to make sure you keep your hands away from the blade and you have to always be concerned about kickback. Right. All right. Now there is a guard that comes with the saw and you place it on there and your hands will stay away from the blade. Got it. All right. The next thing is, is when I am ripping a board through the table saw, I create a kerf. And right here is a splitter. See that splitter? Yeah. Now, if the board should be wet or the grain should be a little crazy, sometimes these pieces want to come together on the other side of the blade. And when they do that, the wood wants to kick back at me. Because the blade will grab it and throw it to you. Exactly. OK, so we've got a splitter to prevent right. that. Now, you are holding up these spring-loaded little teeth. Those are called pawls. Mm -hmm. When I push a board, they go up on their own. If I should get kicked back, they dig in and stop the board from coming back and kicking at me. Okay, good to know. Now let's talk about outfeed. This one actually has an outfeed extension on it. Why are these important? It's very important that you have an outfeed table, but let's say I'm ripping a piece of wood down that's about four or five feet long. Yep. All right, if I don't have an outfeed table, that board could fall, I could slip and hit the blade. Now let's talk about things like feather boards. We've got some oh, yeah. of these or push sticks. Feather board you can buy, and that feather board basically keeps that piece of wood firmly against the rip fence. Yep. So you have a nice straight cut. Okay, now that is accomplished because it actually has these little curves right here. Right. So there's some give. Exactly. You can buy them and you can also make them. Gotcha. All right. Let's talk about a push stick. Push stick is when you're cutting a narrow piece of wood and you don't want to go between the rip fence and the blade. Keep this allows hands. you to go through safety. Got it. And again, ones that you can make or ones that you can actually buy to help you out. Exactly. All right, so these are all used when we are actually doing a rip cut or cutting it lengthwise. What about when we're doing a cross cut? Well, one thing you never want to do is you never want to use your rip fence to cross cut a piece of wood. Okay, why is that? All right. First of all, you can't control it. It will bind up and it will definitely kick back at you, in some cases taking your hand over that blade. Okay, so off with the uh, rip fence. All right, now here is a miter gauge. All right, it goes in these slots. This is primarily used for cutting the length of the wood, whether mm -hmm. it's a miter or whatever angle you want to choose. And you want to go across the blade like that. Gotcha. Okay. All right. So these are devices and techniques for safety, but you are also going to show us some new technology, which I'm dying to see. Well, I'm going to show you a technology that is unique to this saw. All, All right. right. This saw will sense if my finger is in the way. Wait. So how does he actually sense the difference between, say, a piece of wood and your finger? There's an electrical current that runs through the blade that will sense the moisture from my skin shutting that blade off instantly. Let's see this thing operate. Right, now I've removed the blade guard, and the next thing I want to do is I want to raise the blade up so we can really see what happens okay, here. Okay, so this is just for demonstration purposes exactly. here. Exactly. Put on my safety glasses. Yep. And now, instead of using my finger as a demonstration. <laughs> That's a good idea, because we don't use, want to cut that off. <laughs> let's use a hot dog. Okay. All right. Now I want you to watch closely here. blade goes right down instantly. That is remarkable. The off. And you know what? There's not a mark on the hot dog. Not a mark to be seen. Tommy, how does that thing work? There's a blade down there from an earlier demonstration. There's a brake mechanism in the saw, and when it senses an electrical current interruption, it throws this aluminum block into the blade, stopping it in a millisecond. Look at that. Does it wreck the blade? It does wreck the blade, so I have to buy a new blade and a brake system, but I still have my fingers and the hot dog. <laughs>